Welcome to People's Blessing Show. I am Blessing Ajayi, the host. Today we have a very special guest, Mayor Patrick Brown. Mayor Patrick Brown is the current mayor of the city of Brampton. At People's Blessing Show, we inform, promote, and advocate for our community. Today, we want to hear from Patrick Brown, our current mayor, what he has for us today. How are you? I'm doing great. Nice to be with you. So tell us about yourself. Well, you know, I'm 44. I am married to my wife, uh, Genevieve. We live in the downtown. We've got two young children, uh, Theodore, who's three and a half, Savannah, who's one and a half. Oh. Um, we love living in the downtown. Um, I take the responsibility of being mayor of Brampton um, very seriously. It's a great responsibility, and I uh, will do whatever I can to fight uh, for the city. You know, I think Brampton is an incredible city, um, but historically we've been underserved. It's why I've um, fought to get us a new hospital, to get expanded GO train services, to get us vaccines during the pandemic. Uh, you know, I think for far too long we were too polite, and I haven't been polite. I have ruffled feathers, and I've insisted um, that Brampton gets its due, and so it's encouraging that we're finally starting to see the announcements of funding that a city our size deserves. Of community member, knowing that you're coming to our studio today, of the concern is about the insecurity in Brampton. They look at Brampton being on safe city, mm -hmm. and also a healthcare facility um, uh, um, issues. They mention also high high property tax rate. You know, what will you say about this? We have some good news on, on that front. I'm proud to say Brampton was the only big city in Canada to freeze your property taxes. First time in 19 years. And, you know, other cities had their taxes go up 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 percent. Not Brampton. The municipal portion, uh, I froze for my time as mayor. Um, you know, there's education taxes, there's regional taxes that come on the bill as well. But the portion I control, the municipal portion, frozen. In terms of health care, for decades, Brampton fought for a new hospital. We finally got one approved. Um, and that uh, tender has been issued $1.1 billion. To put that in the context, Brampton Civic was $600 million. This is going to be a state-of-the-art hospital, 24-7, a, a full-service emergency department, up to 350 beds. Um, and the construction starts this year. Wow. Blessing, we're finally getting our hospital. Yeah, I'm proud of the, We have a legacy of achievement, tangible Success. Another contention is about you mm -hmm. being likely to drop your position as the mayor if Brampton, uh, as the mayor of Brampton City, if you have a better position. They talk about um, who could be a premier or a prime minister. Um, I get mentioned amongst the names that are considered, and I, 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 that's flattering, and I appreciate it. But my commitment is I'm going to serve my entire term here in the city of Brampton. I'm going to serve every day that I'm elected. Um, and me and my wife are very happy to stay in Brampton. What would be the thing you will do first if you are elected as the mayor of Brampton within 100 days? You know, we've got a number of very important projects that I'm in the midst of in the hospital construction, um, the building of the new medical school, getting ready for the new police division, 23 division. We've got the Ambleton Community Center that needs to start construction. Um, I'm expanding cricket and field hockey in the city. So there's a number of projects on the go, um, and I'm going to continue to work hard on that, our economic development efforts. Um, there, there's, there's, I'm very busy at City Hall, so there's a ton to work on, and so I can't wait to continue that work. One of the things I love that you have done, I said, is your humility mm. and humbleness. You know, like I said, uh, people in the streets, they just, they can cut your attention easily. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, you should keep up that. That's very oh, honorable, you. you know. And also, uh, uniting our community, black communities, I, I think you were able to bring us together. Mm -hmm. And I'm enjoying that. Thank you. And um, why is the election going so far? 
How, what it's going really well. Commitment, yeah. you know? No, it's gone well. There's only a few days left, 12 days left. Mm -hmm. um, polls are really good. So we're going to take this to the finish line and hopefully come back to City mm -hmm. Hall with a bigger mandate. Wow. Wow. And tell the viewers, how would you like to be supported during this election? Is that well, anything? Yeah, you if you want to take a lawn sign, let us know. We'd love to put signs on, on your lawn. If you want to volunteer, let us know at votepatrickbrown.com. And let's keep the progress of the city going. The campaigns are run by volunteers. Um, and so if you want to volunteer, you want to put a sign up, you want to support us on election day, that's all a big help. Just uh, let us know, votepatrickbrown.com. The voting starts this weekend, Friday and Saturday, all day long, and then again on October 24th, which is election day. So make sure you vote. Mm -hmm. As they say, you can't complain unless you vote. The voting says count your blessings. I like that. <laughs> Count your blessing and vote. Yeah, Listen so. to blessing. Count your <laughs> blessings and vote. Yeah, thank you so much, Patrick, for coming. We are very happy to have you at our studio. And hopefully, by the special grace of God, we want to have you after you have been elected. Oh, thank I you so much. Absolutely. Especially. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, God blessing. Bless. <laughs>